Mastering Contrast Adjustment in English Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're going to explore a very interesting phrase that you might come across not just in language, but in various aspects of daily life. Contrast Adjustment Understanding this concept can significantly enhance your comprehension and usage of English, especially in contexts related to visual arts, photography, and even metaphorical language. Let's get started. At its core, contrast adjustment refers to the process of altering the difference in brightness between the light and dark elements of an image. But why is this important? Well, by adjusting contrast, you can make an image more vivid, highlight certain elements, or convey a particular mood or atmosphere. This concept is not only pivotal in photography and video editing but also serves as a powerful metaphor in language, representing the idea of making differences more noticeable or highlighting disparities in various contexts. In the realm of photography and video editing, contrast adjustment is a key tool for artists and creators. By increasing contrast, the dark parts of an image become darker, and the light parts become lighter, making the image pop and giving it more depth. On the other hand, decreasing contrast can create a softer, more uniform look, which might be desired in certain styles of photography or for specific effects in videos. This manipulation of contrast can drastically change the viewer's perception and emotional response to an image or scene. Beyond its technical applications, the concept of contrast adjustment is also used metaphorically in everyday language. When someone talks about adjusting contrasts in discussions, arguments, or analyses, they're often referring to the act of making differences more pronounced or noticeable. For example, in a debate, a speaker might adjust the contrast between two viewpoints to clearly distinguish their position from an opponent's. This use of the phrase shows how versatile English can be, allowing us to borrow terms from one field and apply them creatively in another. Let's look at some practical examples to better understand how contrast adjustment works and is applied. In photography, a photographer might adjust the contrast of a sunset photo to make the colors of the sky more vibrant, enhancing the visual impact of the image. In writing, an author could describe a character's emotions with high contrast to other characters' feelings, making the protagonist's joy or despair more pronounced and engaging for the reader. In everyday decisions, choosing to wear a bright red dress against a muted background is a form of contrast adjustment, aiming to stand out in a crowd. And that wraps up our exploration of contrast adjustment. Whether you're tweaking the settings on your camera, editing your latest video project, or using the concept as a metaphor to describe differences in opinions or styles, Understanding this term can add depth and clarity to your communication. We hope this video has illuminated another fascinating facet of the English language for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into English learning. Happy learning, and see you in the next video!